Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Final Fantasy 16. Last time we left off, we did some quests for mid and stuff like that. And also the Gav quest. Today, there is a new quest that popped up in the ally it reports. It popped up when uh, I started up the game and I saw it. So we do have one more quest over there. We have the Masterless, Masterless Marauder to defeat. And um, we also have the Lubor quest. All right, so let's go ahead and get in here and see what we got. Let's see, how many things are left right here? Yep, there's two. So it's probably for the final two quests that I have. The Veil signboard, Snow Daisy Garland, the model airship, and the Winter Mead. I was wondering if there was going to be one for getting all the bounties. I mean, maybe there still could be if one of these quests don't give me a reward. Feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. That afternoon on Man's Hill was our very first adventure. But somehow I know even then that it would not be our last. I will never forget that day and the simple fact that you have not either fills my heart with a joy so fierce I cannot describe it. Since the moment we first met, you have always been an important part of me. The half that makes me whole. When times are darkest, you are my light. When I am lost, you're my guiding star. You're just what I need. You're all I need. You are the greatest gift. Oh. Here, not long removed from when you last placed yourself between us in peril, I sit pin in, and pin yet another letter in which I try to find the words to somehow express the gratitude of an entire town. Still, something feels different about our latest triumph. Where in the past we leaned ever so heavily upon your good graces, this time we found strength elsewhere in ourselves. Our, hardships, our sh hardship has shown us that which should have been apparent all along. We are not as different as we want to believe. Does a peasant love his homeland any less than a noble? Does a bear love his family any less than another man does his own? It is this love that has united us and given us true strength. Should every thrall, Akashic bandit, and brigand in the realm come charging at our gates, we will not fret, we will not falter, we will fight, and we will win. Alrighty. Cool, cool, cool. So, with that, we will go ahead and schmove on over to, uh... The new area, I suppose, or not new area, but the next quest would be a better way to put it. So, Dalamil, Lubor, what do you have for me? What do you have for me, Lubor? All right, what's up? Here to help me pack. Thanks, but I'll be traveling light. I'm almost finished already, in fact. You're really going to go through with this, then? I am. But before I go, there is one small issue I'd like your assistance with. Well, two, in fact. Why don't you come stay with us? If my power to help you, I will. I mean, as we've learned, you are a bearer, so it would make sense. It's the children. I refuse to let them share in my disgrace. And if I leave them here, they surely will. Our friendship would see them ostracized forever. But I can't take them with me either. I can think of only one place where they are certain to be safe and provided for and loved. The hideaway. Yeah? Of course. The children would be more than welcome. Thank you, Clive. I will not forget this. Lubor, are you still here? By the way, that reminds me, it said, I swear the missives thing said that there was a new quest in my missives, but I didn't see one there. Unless I missed it. I don't think I'm crazy. I might be, though. I might be. We'll have to, we'll have to recheck the missives again, but I thought I had seen everything. So maybe there is a reward for getting all the bounties. What is it, Verda? You look pale. There's been a flood in the Velcroy. A damn big one. The League of Outlaws encampment was completely submerged in Ether. What? Every last one of the bastards has turned. And they're headed this way. Bandits are one thing. But Akashic bandits are quite another. The town guard won't stand a chance against them. We need to evacuate. There's no time to lose. Further, gather the men. The Akashic may strike at any moment. We must make ready to cover the townspeople's escape. Well, 
What are you waiting for? Yes, my lord. Clive, change of plan. The children stay with me for now. I need you to find Conrad and Natalie. Tell them to prepare for a full and immediate evacuation. Understood. I'll do what I can to convince everyone else. Wish me luck. What a, I I imagine in like actual hand-to-hand -hand combat, yeah, Akashic probably would be more dangerous than like normal bandits. But I mean, I feel like if you fortify and prepare any sort of defense or use any sort of tactics at all, human like actual thinking humans would probably be a little bit di more difficult to deal with. Yeah, they wouldn't fall for simple traps, but Akashic? the Akashic seem. Like, Akashic seems like they would fall for more simple traps than, like, actual, you know, humans would. Like, you know, palisades, like, well, they can't really dig a hole because this is the desert. I mean, I guess they could, but I'm not sure of the specifics of how that works, because the sand would just fill it back in, basically, by flowing in. But, I don't know, it makes, it makes me think of, like, yeah, 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 nobody wants to listen to Lubor. It makes me think, like... You know, kind of like how in Zombie Apocalypse stuff, if you, like, kind of have a barricade and stuff like this, it seems like it'd be way more effective against Akashic than it would humans. A barricade, because they're just going to kind of run at whatever. They're a little bit mindless, so... But yeah, in, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat, yeah, they probably act really weird. Yeah, they probably re act really, really weird in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Sorry, there's so much talking going on because we're in a packed town and I'm trying to get my thought out here. I shouldn't have been running around. <laughs> but, yeah. Ah, it's you. What do you want, Lord Underhill? To pass on an important message. There's been an ether flood out in the Velcroy. The camp where the so-called League of Outlaws were gathering has been swallowed. They're no longer just bandits. They're Akashic now. And they could be here at any moment. You need to begin preparing for a full-scale evacuation right away. Oh, do we? And who was it who gave you this disturbing news, might I ask? Lubor, perhaps? The man spreading the same poison out in the square as we speak. You may believe his lies, my lord, but we know better. God, you're all being incredibly you stupid. Some twisted attempt at revenge, perhaps. If he had not been unmasked, he may well have been elected our leader. A great honor for one of his kind. One he might well feel aggrieved at having been denied. Lord Underhill, forgive me, but it has become all too evident where your sympathies lie. Lubor cannot be trusted, and neither, therefore, can you. You may not trust me. But for the sake of your people, ask yourselves if there is any chance that this is true. There isn't. You can be certain of that. Now be off with you. Oh my god. You're making a mistake. Just looking at the sheer fucking stupidity on display. Then we must find another way to ensure Dalamel's survival. You're right. Let's speak to Lord Ferda. That's interesting. They actually talk during this. I wonder what happens if you don't have them. Or does this quest maybe not open up until you have both Joshua and Jill in your party? I mean, they could just not speak if they're not in the party, but that's interesting. God, the sheer stupidity on display of, uh, hey, we're warning you about this thing. Ah, oh, but, but we don't like bearers. You know, their kind are telling us that you know, we shouldn't let ourselves get killed, so we're not gonna trust them. Lubor hasn't even really- like, I would understand it a little bit more if Lubor was like, known as like, oh yeah, the boy who cried wolf or something, then it would make a little bit more sense. But the fact that they just don't trust him just because he never told them he was a bearer, in a place where he had told them if- that he was a bearer, he probably would have been like, fucked up. God. Like, wow, what a huge shock that he didn't want to tell you all that he's a bearer. Take this crystal. It's no more use than the bearer I sold to buy it. Ah, well, can always buy another. 
But at least I don't have to feed it. Who the fuck are you talking to, you stupid asshole? There's no Gilbert here. <laughs> hey, what's up? Lord Ferda. Sid, what's wrong? I went to warn Conrad and Natalie about the Akashic, but they wouldn't listen. They've convinced themselves that nothing Lubor says can be trusted. The bloody fools. I know. Which means the town guard can't be counted on for support. But I can. If there's anything I can do to help you defend Dalamil, you only have to ask. I appreciate it. Sid! Further! I've been looking for you everywhere! Victor? I thought you'd left. I couldn't abandon a friend in need. And Blue Boy is in need at this very moment. Come quickly. Oh god, are they gonna like... Try to burn him at the stake or something? This is such a crazy... You have to believe me! The Akashic are coming! They don't eat, they don't sleep, they don't tire, and they don't care who they kill. They're unlike anything that's come before. There won't be no parley, no mercy granted! We may have saved the town once, but this is different. I do not ask that you forgive me, but please believe me. If you do not run, you will die. You will all fucking die! You don't have anything to apologize for, Lubor. Jesus. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you, Bearer? Yeah, with us out of the way, your kind will be free to claim Dalamil for yourselves. You should run! <gasps> run, Bearer! Yeah, yeah. yeah run! run. Yeah. Far, just far away! Run. Yeah. Run. Yeah. Run. Yeah. Just go, Bearer! Yeah. Come on, Go Just go! Just go! Wait! Someone's coming! Go! Come on! Stop! Please. You're hurting him! What did Lubor ever do to you? Hmm? He solves all your stupid problems! And he keeps all of you safe. You know there's nothing he wouldn't do for this town. Who was it who made that cleaver you use every day, Conrad? And what about your counting table, Natalie? Who fixed that? Whose men make sure the streets are clean so all your boots don't get dirty? Who spends all day, every day, making sure things run smoothly around here? And none of you ever say thank you, ever! But did Lubor ever complain? Well, does he ever stop smiling? He keeps this whole place going! And you act like he doesn't even exist! Yeah, yeah, sorry. <gasps> Lubor, we have heard enough. No! Wait! We will not run. The town guard will not abandon the very place it is sworn to protect. And I will not give up for lost the stores that we labored so hard to fill. <sighs> So tell us, how do you propose we deal with these Akashic of yours?
We won't run, but we will fight. All right, then. <laughs> Are you going to apologize for fucking stoning him? <laughs> around if you don't want to die god god if <laughs> i i almost want to say the amount of stubborn and stupid that the people of Dalamil are being here is unrealistic but seeing this exact kind of stuff happen in real life makes me go yeah you know what that's fair which is incredibly depressing <laughs> allow me to explain the situation the ether flood occurred near the village of Cheratina, deep in the Velcroy. The place had been abandoned for years, until the League of Outlaws decided to make it their base of operations. Now they're all turned, and if the scouts' reports are correct, heading in this direction. They are mindless monsters, driven only by hate and rage. And they are utterly unpredictable. With the bandits, we at least knew how and where they were likely to attack. When these creatures come, Delamil will have the bitterest fight it has ever faced on its hands. The town guard will muster at the north gate. The rest of us will take the south. Both forces will provide men to serve as scouts and messengers, ready to spread word of the size and nature of the Akashic force as soon as it is spotted. And as soon as it has been, we will converge on its position and see that it is driven back from Delamil at all costs. Conrad, can I count on the support of the town guard? Always. I leave the selection and coordination of the messengers in your hands, Victor. And the command of our men in yours, Ferda. If you would both be so kind, consider it done. As you wish. Natalie, I would ask that you and your people have the townsfolk barricade themselves inside the bathhouse. And tell the merchant not to waste time securing anything beside the essentials. Preserving life is our one and only concern. As long as we survive, it doesn't matter what trinkets we might lose. Our riches can be regained. And if anyone doubts that, let it be known that the Briar's Kiss stands ready to cover any losses. Very well. I shall tell them. Where do I fit into this plan? Where else but the most perilous place of all? I would like you to travel to the home of our erstwhile League of Outlaws. Cheratina itself. The main host is most likely still there, and Dalamil will not be safe until it is eradicated, root and branch. A little gardening. How pleasant. I doubt it. I have a feeling these weeds will be particularly stubborn. Luckily, so am I. So you are. All right, then. We all know what we have to do. Now it's simply a matter of doing it. For Dalamil. All right, let's do it. I mean, one thing that Lubor mentioned earlier does make a ton of sense, specifically in regards to Akashic. I better not keep them waiting. Um, they don't need to sleep, um, and they will just keep coming as long as their number is still around. I might be vastly underestimating how many bandits there actually are, but I, I feel like there can't be that many. You know. That will keep some of them out. Like a hundred? Two hundred? Any man sighting an Akashic is to raise the alarm immediately. The messengers will see that our entire force rallies to that position. We stand together or we fall alone. Do not forget that. Effectively like a hundred to two hundred fast zombies, once again, maybe underestimating that number. A hundred to two hundred fast zombies, you know. It still seems like it would be easier to fight than a whole contingent of, like, bandits that can like lay traps, use smarter weapons, and things like that. You know? Human bandits would at least be way better at laying siege, if that was what was needed. But... Gods, yeah. I- I hope- I hope Lubor gets a nice, nice apology out of all this. Especially after offering to, like, 
pay for per everything that is lost in this as well because i'm pretty he mentioned briar's kiss will just uh you know fix all of the losses and everything the flood but what's waiting for us inside so he's not only got stoned and still wants to help these people but also is willing to pay them back for any losses they have if they're stupid and try to grab material goods instead of just trying to preserve their life Really is a saint, this one. Willing to put up with a lot. Alright. Hello? Whoop. Where are you at? Let's go ahead and just hit him with the diamond dust. There we go. You. No. Get out of here, cunning man. Just take out the rest of the foot pads first. Bang, bang. There we are. Who are you? You're doing your thing. I imagine there's going to be a big boss enemy we're gonna have to fight. Possibly one of the jerks with the cannon, or just like a big axe. I think I straight up saw them over there. And I think it's one of the big axe ones. I believe. Alright, these enemies are coming at me now. Alright. Akashic Gentleman. <laughs> what a nice name. Oh, yes, you know, the fine Akashic Gentleman down the way. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a funny way of wording it, but it's effectively a zombie. <sighs> Alright, let's hit you with one of these, and then I'll Giga Flare you. Don't think that's gonna be enough to kill. Yeah, definitely not. But, uh. I can hit you with another one of these. Oh, I didn't get my Raging Fist off in time. Now I did, though. There we are. Bye, bye. <laughs> Akashic Gentleman. I don't know why that gets. I don't know why that, that made me laugh so much. I should really spend my ability points. The league is disbanded. I should get back to Dalamil and see how the others fared. <laughs> You're such a dork, Clive. <laughs> I guess Joshua and Jill were around to hear that, so you weren't saying it to no one, but I I, I feel like Jill at least maybe probably face palmed a bit. All the Akashic we were able to find have been dealt with. Seems that might be the last of them. The last of them here, perhaps. Lubo, Sir Clive has returned. Clive! What news from Cheritina? It's done. Root and branch. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Thank you, my lord. Friends, the Horde has been driven back. The Akashic have been defeated. And we need not fear the arrival of any more, thanks to Clive. Victory is ours. We bloody did it. We saved Dalamil. Lubor, allow me to apologize. After all you have done for this town, we should never have doubted you. But we did, and for that we are truly sorry. We only hope that you can forgive us. We need you, Luvor. Dalimil needs you. So, if you would still like to be considered for the position of mayor, you have our backing. You do remember that I'm a bearer, don't you? We do. But that is not a stain on your character. It is a stain on ours. 
We thought only of what we perceived bearers to be, not what you truly are. The man who saved Dalimil twice over. I see. But I will only accept your proposal on two conditions. Rake them over the coals, do Rake it. Them. I mean, it's it's nice that they came around, but I wish it hadn't taken them being attacked by a zombie horde for them to realize, hey, maybe we should set our prejudices aside. That you will both do everything in your power to rally your people to my cause. If the town guard and the merchants league do not accept my leadership, it will be doomed from the start. Unity is the key to defending Dalamil, and I do not doubt that we shall need to call on our combined strength again. When that time comes, I will expect us all to pull together, just as we did today. Of course. You have our word. And secondly... You will accept that if I am to lead you, the mistreatment of bearers must end here in Dalamil. Any bearer within our walls shall be afforded the same rights as any other citizen. They will not be judged by what they are, but who they are. As we failed to do, and came so close to losing everything. We agree to your conditions. And we have only one in return. That you continue to work for the good of Dalimil. As you always have. Condition accepted. Well then, it seems my mayorship is all but confirmed. Do I get some sort of special hat? Yay. It's always nice when things actually come around like that. What really sucks is when you do a quest like that. Fickle fate can be. And nothing really comes out of it. Like the people don't change or have any kind of character arc or anything like that. So long ago I had resigned myself to leaving Dalamil in disgrace. And now I find myself her leader. Here. For everything. Lubo, about the children. Fear not, you are of course relieved of your responsibility. I would sooner face another horde of Akashic than see them brought up as outlaws. I'll make sure they're safe here. I don't doubt that you will. And not just the children, but everyone in Dalamel. I'll do my best. Can't have all your hard work going to waste. There we go. Why are we panning the camera up here? Oh, okay, these two. I was worried at that camera pan for a second. I thought, like, I don't know, we'd... <laughs> we'd pan up there and there would be a figure that goes, Not on my watch. <laughs> or something like that. It, it scared me. All right, reduces impulse cooldown, meteorite, Briar's Kiss signboard. Emblem of the Briar's Kiss, Pride of Dalamil. The forge is almost as popular with traveling merchants as the trading post's famous healing baths, where the weary can soak away their saddle sores on the way to Drake's Fang. And there we go. Then they opened up my mind. Collect six signboards. I did it. Cool. I gotta, I gotta say, um, one of the things I will definitely definitely give um the latter part of this game is it's it's really cool that um a lot of the final quests here specifically are covering like unity and people coming together to fighting against to fight against a greater threat and things like that because too many games and stuff i feel like kind of ignore the plot events with their 
with their side quests. Like in a lot of other games, I feel like the side quests past the big point of everything going to shit and ether floods popping up everywhere would kind of just totally ignore that and everything would play out in side quests the absolute same, completely ignoring the events of the plot. But the side quests here are definitely paying attention to what's going on with the plot and usually walk hand in hand with it, which is nice. And also just the message of like people getting over their prejudices and what have you to kind of come together to work in unity against a greater threat is a uh, is always a nice one to see. But yeah, it's it's nice it's nice to see these things kind of come together like this. So let's go ahead and see where the masterless marauder is, and I'll meet you over there. Okay, this one is apparently just like right here. Um, I believe that's it. <laughs> of course, uh, our possible final bounty is a behemoth. Not excited. Hello, Masterless Marauder. Of course it's a behemoth. The Behemoth King. It's Angi that we that we killed its uh its friends. Alright, 47. Still not as high level as Svalrog. Why did Svalrog open as an option so early? It seems wild that uh Okay, that was Uh-huh. This is gonna be quite the fight, methinks. Oh here I was thought uh I was doing the correct thing there, but I definitely was not. At least it doesn't hit super hard. Uh-huh. Let's go ahead and hit you with one of these. Uh-huh. Hit you with one of those. Uh-huh. Whoop. 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 Gotcha. Alright, let's continue getting over here. Gotcha with the permafrost. I will hit you with a wind up. I will also hit you with an impulse. And we will get in here and see what we can do. Okay. Should be able to get off a full Giga Flare here. God, Jill is just super, super good. I love Jill so much. There we go. Whoop. 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 Keep, keep stunning. Keep stunning. I have not been using Jill enough, quite frankly, in these fights. It would have made my life so much easier. Rain of fire. Ho, ho, ho. Whoop. There we go. Go ahead and get my perfect dodge there. I can't see shit, Captain. Ho. Mm hmm. There we go. That was just the... I... Oof. Well, I can't see. I can't see! What is happening? Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. Oh my god! That maelstrom hurt a lot. Fuck. Getting trapped up against the wall like that was, uh, not fun. That was not fun at all. God. Oh. <laughs> okay. We almost died. But we're good now. Whoop. Whoop. Ow. Go. Okay, it's broken. Oh my god. 
Diamond Dust. I think we're done. <laughs> that was scary when I went down to 1 HP, my god. Terrifying, honestly. And hit him with one of these. Should be enough to kill. Definitely the second scariest enemy, I would say. Um, behind Svarog, because Svarog was obviously very, very terrifying. Uh, Apocalypse? Okay. Oh yeah, things are happening, they are. Whoop! Okay. Whoop! Oh god, oh god! Alright, we're fine. Okay. Yeah, that was scary. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeesh. Yeesh. That was, uh... That was a spooky one. 3,050 is the max amount of renown, really. Not not just 3,000. <sighs> no match for you, eh, Toggle? Good, good, good puppy, Torgal. <laughs> okay. I believe that might be everything. Gods, when I was trapped against that wall and could not tell what was happening, that was a bad that was a bad time. That was a bad time. Oh, it wasn't fun, it wasn't. <sighs> Alright. We've done all the air eight stuns. We I didn't get an achievement, so I'm kind of wondering if we did all the bounties. Oh, might, be, might be post-game bounty. Going to say goodbyes, are you? For now, you better come back or I'll fly up there and drag you home by your ear. Thank you, Karen. And thank you for finding the thought appealing. Look, just don't die, all right? Changing leadership's bad for business. Oh, you're off to kill a god, so what? You've done everything else you put your mind to, haven't you? Do this too. All right, browse Karen's toll. I am gonna buy a summit. Okay, so I do want more, he more heals, please. Uh, seven of those, one of those. All right, there we go. Whew. We did it. We made it. Um, so I never got the recipe for like some Sorry, would it be? kind of ultimate bracers or anything, did I? No? I mean, I got the ones that we got from the quest that were, you know, a gift from my father, but it's not like, it doesn't have that like gold border like these do. Maybe Ouroboros, the Genji Gloves, and Gotterdammerung are the only ones. Maybe there aren't gold van braces. Let's see, I currently have... I just want to look at this stuff really quickly. Wind up damage increased by 10%. Do I have like a better version of that? Wind up, wind up, wind up. Probably not, I would imagine. Adamantite gauntlets? Oh, that one's, that one's gold, I guess. Increases my max HP by 500, which... Ah, and the Talisman of Priming is another gold one. That's right, that's right. Okay, okay, so we have had some for a while, I just wasn't interested in using them. So we do have three accessories that I could put on that are all gold. I just don't have a Van Brace. Yeah, we have not gotten a gold Van Brace. Which strikes me as odd. Maybe I just missed it somewhere. There's a very, very good chance I did. Alright, so... And there's that done. The Briar's Kiss signboard. So I'm going to assume that final one is for getting all bounties and a new bounty is going to open up in post-game. Is going to be my assumption. Edda seems fo uh, fond of the silver bow we gave her. So much she's been uh, taken to sitting at the top of her belly as she rests. To her, tell it the rascal kicks something fierce when she does too. Sounds like we have another fighter on our hands and none too soon. And a hardly... hardy wait. To teach our newest little curse breaker everything I know, though I suppose we can all celebrate first. No need to get upset ahead of ourselves. 
What? You didn't think I was just saying that stuff about hiding my engine, did you? Wouldn't you know, I've already found a fine spot picked out and everything. But if you're going to go out on this grand adventure, you'll need to be quick about your business with that ruddy god of yours. Take too long and something, somebody more clever might beat you to the prize. I suppose in that case I could bury you in one of, bury you one of my lesser inventions. Goddess knows I've countless. Not so foolish to believe that a single shaming at the hands of town urchins can dispel a lifetime of hatred built up in one's heart. Just as a pot cannot be made clean by reminding it of its grime. It takes effort, persistence, and more often than not, a stiff brush and bucket of lye. But more than that, it takes time. Fortunately, your courage and leadership has granted us just that. We must now decide whether to embrace it or to waste it. Why is one man once said the night is always darkest before dawn? It's a good thing that I can that I count one who burns so bright amongst my friends. It is true, Lubor. Getting rid of preju prejudices and hatred usually takes, like, systemic changes that happen over time. It's not something that just happens because one event that turns everybody's opinion around, so... It's nice to see that is why I like the added conditions that Lubor gave. Because so often you'll see a thing in that where it'll just be like, Oh, and then this thing happened and the person that was being hated upon actually saved them all in the end, so everything was fine and all the prejudices were gone and everything was fixed. Um... And unfortunately, that's just not realistic and not usually how it happens. So I like that they added on the thing of Lubor being like, well, I'm not going to be the mayor unless we put actual things in place that stop everyone from, from doing this. We need systemic changes. So that is good. I'm glad. So. All right. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Final Fantasy 16. And I'll see you next time for... I don't know if it'll be the finale or not, but we're definitely going to be doing some story stuff. So. Later.